All right, one major factor of improving explosiveness, I'm talking about increasing your jump height, acceleration, sprint speed, lateral speed. We have to decrease what's called the electromechanical delay. All right, I'm gonna make this as simple as possible, and then I'm gonna show you an exercise. First, you just gotta understand the why. So basically, electromechanical delay. Our nervous system activates our muscle fibers, and there's a delay between that initial activation and when we actually produce real force to move. So there is that delay. We want to decrease that delay. So there's a delay, but why? So there's a lot of little things happening at the muscle fiber level, uh, limited by how fast we can release calcium ions, the action potential, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to get into that right now, but you do have to understand that there's a lot going on at the muscle fiber level that we have to improve. Now the other thing, and this is one of the biggest things, is the tendon stiffness. So think about this rubber band as your tendon. When the muscle contracts, if it's loose and it's floppy, it takes longer to get it tight. Once it gets tight, then we can pull on the bone, then we actually move. So the, the tendon is gonna transmit forces from the muscle to the bone. But if we have excess slack, it takes too much time. But if we have optimal stiffness in the tendons, then we're here and then we go to contract and it's very quick. So optimal stiffness leads to faster force transmission that decreases the total uh, electromechanical delay. We move more explosive, we move faster. Ah, interesting. In the vert code, we use four methods. Right now, let's just talk about one of them. So one way that we train this is we take out the active state. So the active state is the most important aspect of the stretch shortening cycle. So you don't jump very high from here, but you jump 20 to 30% higher when you have a drop. Why? Well, the active state, as we're going down, my muscles are actually revving up. I get this eccentric, I hit the bottom, I get this brief isometric before I come up, but in that brief isometric, our force is already very, very high. So now once I get into the upward, the concentric, it's already revved up. So there is less electromechanical delay because I'm already revved up, ready to go. So then we produce more force in these lower joint positions that leads to more total force in the vertical jump, all right? So sometimes when we're looking to build a trait like decreasing electromechanical delay, you have to take away the superpower, right? So the superpower is that active state. Let's take that away. All right, that's enough science. I'm just trying to get these bunnies. So what do I do, bruh? What do I do? Give me an exercise, bruh. Well, one way I can take out that superpower is sitting on a box, all right? So now I'm gonna do a jump sitting on a box and I'm at complete relaxation. So once my nervous system decides to activate those muscle fibers, it's gotta do it quick and it's gotta develop rapid tension very, very quick without that pre-activation, uh, right? So I'm sitting completely relaxed, boom, get up as high as I can very quick. Even better if you can go on a command. So if a coach can give you a clap and as soon as you hear that clap, you're gone. So another method we use in the vert code to get you to improve that now with your multi-directional explosiveness is I can get you on a box and now get wide feet, get that inward shin angle, and now I'm, boom, gone off that. So I can start a sprint, I can start an agility drill off of that box, and that is then decreasing that electromechanical delay and forcing that process from brain wants to activate to brain actually activates till we actually produce high force. Keep in mind, the best way to train this is through plyometrics because again, that pre-activation is the superpower of the stretch shortening cycle. But what I want you to think about, anytime that we're trying to improve a trait, we can either improve that superpower or we completely remove the superpower. Here's a simple real life example of that. Dogs and babies, young children, typically feel the energy of a person better than adults, right? And why is that? It's because they don't have the ability to talk. So as a survival mechanism, they gotta be able to feel energy to stay out of uh, dangerous situations. Adults, we have an ability to talk. And so since we have this superpower of talking, these other traits of like feeling energy are then decreased. You don't use it, you lose it. So if tomorrow I lost my ability to talk, I now have to figure out other survival mechanisms. So I would then increase my ability to feel energy. So when we're talking about stuff like this, 
the superpower of the stretch shortening cycle is pre-activation. Well, if I remove that, now another aspect has to be increased because we're now relying on that aspect.